Hi right, fellas, I'm out in the garage here this morning and boy, I'll tell you what, I got after it and I got this 40 delivery Pro Street done. Uh, if you guys remember, been watching my videos, I, I picked this kid up uh, at the Hobby Lobby over in uh, Owensboro, Kentucky. My wife and I were passing through there and we decided to stop, so, <clears throat> excuse me. And I saw this and I've never seen this one at uh, my local Hobby Lobby and uh, this was the only one they had, so I just had to get it because uh, I remember watching a, a couple guys that, that built these and, and built them as either street rods or pro street. And uh, I just thought this looked pretty cool. So, <clears throat> all right, let me get that out of the way. Let's, let's get her up here and take a look at it. See what we got. Let's see if I can get her in focus here pretty good. That looks pretty good, I think. <clears throat> all right, just a little recap here. Uh, I'm reaching in front of the camera. Uh, I shot this through my airbrush. This is a Tamiya, uh, the, everything that I use now lately is the, uh, <clears throat> Tamiya acrylic paint. This is the XF21 Sky. I don't, don't know why they call it Sky. It's a green looking to me. I guess, you know, I guess, uh, the sky has got the colors of the rainbow, so you could actually call any color Sky, I guess. But anyway, and, uh, the FX, that's a flat, the F means it's a flat paint. And this goes on flat until you hit it with some clear to, to shine it up. And this is what I thinned it with. Uh, the good old unicorn tears. Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. Uh, this is my go-to stuff anymore. And I really like that stuff. And then it was cleared with the Tamiya's X22 Clear. And this was also thinned uh, 2 to 1 uh, with the uh, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. And uh, seemed to work out pretty good. All right, the uh, we'll start on this side here. the The wheels and tires are actually from the uh, AMT sixty six Nova Pro Street kit. Uh, had those laying around, so uh, I thought they would look good up underneath there. And it turned out pretty good. Uh, I painted those a with the uh, Tamiya TS paint. It's called a Silver Leaf, uh, and then I. I hit the little holes in the wheels there with the, <clears throat> the fine tip black magic marker. I don't know, won't be able to see too much, but the interior, uh, I took the bucket seats out of the AMT 67 Chevelle kit. I uh, just thought they, they looked pretty cool and they'd work out really well and uh, they look they look, look pretty good. Um, the only, well, I'll get to this a little bit later about that bug catcher. <laughs> Uh, I didn't like the license plate being on the bumper brackets. I thought that looked too much stock to me, and this is not stock at all. This is a pro street. So I cut those little nubs off that fit over the uh, fender bracket and, and just glued it straight onto the back of the, uh, the door on the back. Now that door on the back, um, I guess you could make that hinged if you want, but uh, I didn't want to do that. I just went ahead and glued it in. And, you know, this kit, anybody that's built this kit knows this is a pretty rough kit. I mean, this is an old kit, and it's rough. And the uh, time I got this door all sanded down, all the flash off of it and off the body as well, uh, it left a pretty good gap. And you guys that have built this know what I'm talking about. Uh, you've been through it. Coming around to the passenger side here, about the same thing as the other side. Uh, I just like the stance of this uh, with those big old meats on the back. It gives it a pretty good little, uh, little uh, bit of a California rake to it, and uh, I think it looks pretty tough. The uh, <laughs> All this bare metal foil that's on here, I debated whether I was going to use that or not because I've had so much trouble with the bare metal foil uh, that I was just kind of leery of it, but... Uh, uh, my local hobby shop got some of the uh, new. Let me get it. Let me get it here, and I'll show you what it says on it. This actually says, "What did it say? New improved chrome." So I bought some of it, and uh, it seemed to go on better than the other stuff I had. It did. It did okay, and uh, I'm kind of pleased with how it came out. I did the uh, door handles as well with it. Now that, <clears throat> that bug catcher, uh, that did not come with the kit. That came out of the parts box. 
<coughs> excuse me, I think that come off of uh, one of my old uh, Vell 29 Ford Roadster kits. I think that's where that came from. Let's get this hood off of here and we'll take a peek inside. Now, I wired the engine and I didn't like the, the hoses. They, both I tell you, those hoses that were in that kit were just awful looking. So uh, I took a, I always take a piece of wire that I've got and, uh, and then I wrap some bare metal foil around it to, to simulate a clamp. And I, I think that always works out pretty good. But uh, the engine's wired and uh, I put a uh, brake booster on it up there because, you know, this thing, it's going to be going fast, so you're going to have to have a little bit better stopping power. I think it all turned out pretty cool. Look, I really like that stance on it. And that color, uh, <clears throat> that color is, is pretty cool. I didn't say at the beginning of this uh, video, but I'm calling this one the Hulk because it's big and beefy and it's green. <clears throat> I, you know, even though the bottle says it's sky, this thing, it, it might be sky, but it's, it's green. So I'm calling this one the Hulk. I just think it looks pretty cool. It turned out really nice. I'm just really pleased with it. And, you know, once I got done with the uh, getting the clear on, I wet sanded it and my my standby that I always use, I use the McGuire products. <clears throat> and uh, this is the uh, mirror glaze, the fine cut cleaner. I always go over it first with this and it kind of cleans up some of the mess that you've created in the paint kind of helps you out and I need all the help I can get and then I go over it with the with the uh, ultimate liquid wax and that's what I use on my 49 Ruby and uh, it works out pretty good so it worked out pretty good on this as well other than that fellas uh, I mean uh, the kit went together I built a the 40 coupe and it was actually in better shape than this uh, sedan delivery was uh, as far as parts fitting together and and uh, uh, the amount of flash, the flash, the flash on this thing was was horrible. It was so deep embedded into the parts that the uh, time you got those parts sanded down, they were they were looking a little rough. But uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good, I guess. So I'm a happy camper. I just think it turned out pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really digging the to me acrylic paints. Uh, I think that's a good uh, product line. Uh, I've been using that on my last four or five builds, I believe. And uh, let's get back here to the money shot. <clears throat> There's a money shot right there. Uh, yeah, I've been using the Tamiya paint for the last four or five paint jobs. And boy, I tell you, it just uh, I just like how it how it, how it goes down. It just looks really cool. And uh, especially using that Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. Boy, I tell you what, that slows down the process and allows that paint to just settle down and flatten out and uh i don't know it's it's the best paint that i've used so far so i'm really pleased with it i i like it so well fellas i hope y'all enjoy this video i'm going to tell you something about this this bar up here on the windshield uh i had that on there and when i went to polish the kit up yesterday um uh, i got done and I was getting ready to take some pictures and I noticed that piece was gone. So I must have hit it with my rag when I was polishing and I looked forever for that thing. And I swept the floor. I don't know how many times I swept the floor and I checked my clothes because it it's so small. And I fa right over here where my fingers at, that's, it was laying right there the whole time. So I must have knocked it off and it landed right there. And I just never saw it, so I'm glad that I found that because that really makes a good separation on that glass there. I really like that. All right, fellas, uh, I think I'm going to end this. It's been a long enough video, and I don't want to bore you guys, so uh, let me know what y'all think about this one, man. All right, get me out of here.